Hello everybody and welcome to our third video tutorial about uh, creating online store using Virtumart um, 3.0 for Joomla and today in this video we're gonna finish uh, basic configuration of our online store and in order to do this we're gonna we need to click configuration link left side and the first thing we noticed uh, after opening this page it's that we have error message on top of this uh, page and um, pretty much what it says it's um, it says uh, we need to create um, this uh, folder it's called VM files and this folder uh, should be uh, not uh, should be outside of uh, Joomla uh, main folder. Uh, it's sh to make sure it's not accessible by URL, rel, and uh, then path to this folder we need to put to the safe path um, um, uh, safe path field in the templates. I will show you. So first thing we need to do is create folder VM file so uh, if you have uh, this major uh, Joomla, uh, Joomla folder so you need to go one level up and create um, folder VM files then we need to, con to come back to the um, configuration page and choose templates tab and then on the bottom uh, first we need to copy this path let's copy and then on the bottom you will see Save path field, and in this field we need to paste path. So let's see if it works. So now we need to save. Let's see if its message will disappear. Um, so uh, it says um, voice seems miss correct file permission. So all we need to do is go to this folder and just uncheck read only so let's save again and on Linux it will be easier to do um, you just change permission to write to write to this folder so here we go it's working right now so next thing we need to do let's come back to the shop folder uh, tab sorry uh, and in this tab folder uh, tab we need um, shop tab we if you need to change language of the shop you can add more languages just Typing um, then storefront. This is where um, you we need to change uh, default weight unit. So in my case, it's pounds and default uh, dimension unit. So in my case, we need inches. So and all the other um, um, settings pretty much uh, we can leave the same. Um, uh, we can change later uh, if we need it. And here's uh, again shop front settings. Uh, uh, show default number of products in a row, default number of manufacturer. Um, if you need to change, you can change it here. So pricing, um, it's all um, 
we can show like tags in the cart uh, right away or and uh, all other uh, prices uh, price related um, and check out check um, out uh, we can also uh, leave it like like it's by default so also product order settings you can send or descend or to to you can choose like different ordering um, um, combination and also search engine optimization so pretty much we're gonna leave it like it is um, but if we, we need to change we can change in the future so let's save and close it <coughs> Um, so currency we can if you need to change currency or if you wanna um, limit currency to just certain areas uh, to certain cu currencies you can do it here um, um, you can publish this publish this uh, so it's um, so countries you can also <coughs> limit um li limit your store to certain certain countries um so you can you can do selection here uh this is probably uh it for configuration um and next video we're gonna we're gonna uh, create. Um, we're gonna do um, uh, uh, create more categories and uh, add some products to categories, and we're gonna uh, show show some categories on the front page of our website. Thank you for watching.